Hello, this is a tutorial on how to get um, an iPod app from your computer onto iPod and how to make one too. So, I already have Flash open, so you're going to want to open Flash. Okay, so what I've done is create a new iPhone OS file, and there you go. And seeing that I have it over here, there's my little penguin when I preview it. He's just a walking penguin. You'll be surprised how long that took to make. Okay, so I'll drag it over here. File, iPhone OS settings. And I'm going to put a link in the description on how to get this, but it's a P12 certificate and a mobile provisioning uh, file. It fills that in for you. But I'll browse. I saved it into my document, so all you have to do is save it where you want to and go find it. P12, and then in my documents, I saved it there. Mobile provisioning. So I put the, well the password that came with it was one two three four. So you're gonna enter that. Go to deployment app store. That is a really gay burp icon. So you can do twenty nine fifty seven and five twelve. Um, really all you need if you want to show up on your iPod screen, like as a little square uh, picture for your app. All I have to do is click on fifty seven, find it. I already saved a few in my new folder. So there's my 57, 57, 57. You don't have to name it 57, it's just kind of there. But uh, yeah. I'll select it for the tutorial. So, new folder. 57 disco, how about that? Yes. Right, so, deployment. Already have it set up. General. Alright, select. Alright, so this is test. This is a test. Okay, I like that. Alright, and I will pause it and uh, apply or publish the settings. Alright, so that took a really long time, a lot longer than I expected. But while I was doing it, I uploaded the certificate files so I can put a link to the, uh, in the description to them. I uploaded it to a few places in case you didn't feel safe with one of them. So there's those, and it successfully published. There's Mega Upload, there's Mediafire. Congratulations. Okay, so. I forgot where I published it to. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I saved it in a new folder. Okay, so now. There's plenty of tutorials on how to get open SSH on your iPods. Uh, basically, you just go to Cydia. Um, you go to search and you find open SSH, download it. And then you're going to be going to Z Internet. I'm going to Google right now. And I'm searching for WinSCP. And this is going to be how you get files onto your iPod using Wi-Fi. So when scp.net um, I'll probably just put a direct link in the description. So this is the website in case you just want to look at it for yourself. And there's a little icon. So let's see. Well, let me drag it over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so type VNC basically is just viewing your iPod and your computer screen. There's lots of tutorials on that too. But when SCP login, I already saved it. Alright, so now I got this. And also, you're going to be needing to install this for whatever version of iPod, iPhone, or whatever. Um, there's tutorials on that too. All, all, it's just easy. All you have to do is install, install this. And, uh,. If you get errors, you have to get app sync for your version. So I already have install this downloaded from the City of Marketplace. Oh, let me tell you what path you're going through. Alright, so you're gonna start out here on the main screen. You're gonna click private, there, uh mobile, documents, install this, and then you go to install us downloads. That's supposing that you have install this. Um, go to your documents. Um, no, don't go to your documents. 
Don't listen to me. Alright, new folder. Uh, there we go. There is this is test. Alright, so I'll open that up. Alright, so this is test. I will drag that into my iPod. That little thing, copy it. Now it's going to be dragging into there. And I will open that tight VNC. That sounds so wrong. I hate saying it, but uh, yeah, tight VNC. And there we go. Tight VNC, you don't need it. I'm just doing that so you can see my iPod because I don't have any kind of recorder besides my iPod. Alright, so I already have my IP address entered. Connect. Protocol negotiated. Oh yeah, I had to accept it on my iPod screen. Accept. Ah, no. Get out of there. I don't like you. I don't want you to be full screen. Get out. Alright, I'm gonna probably be... Okay, uh, sorry about that. That should not have happened. It was full screen, and I didn't read the instructions. How to get out of full screen. Alright, so here's my iPod. Uh, you can see I already have some Penguin stuff, and it lags a lot when it's doing the screen view on the computer. But, you're gonna be going to your install this load okay so I have install this and I'm gonna go under the download section scroll down here yes alright so click on downloads and as you can see this is test is right there so click it and install see the little loading symbol installing Shouldn't take long, so I'm just gonna leave this on. 3.31 megabytes, Jesus, dude. It's just a walking penguin. Alright, so home button. Home button. There we go. And now you can see this is test it is right there. There's my little penguin. I love you, penguin. Alright, so I'll click that. And now you can see the walking penguin who is lagging very badly from where you're seeing it right now. And that's how you get an app from Flash CS5 to your iPod. That's this isn't how to get it onto the app store or anything. It's just there. But a place you can upload it, I believe, is Big Boss. You can just look that up. City of Big Boss, Google it. And uh I'm a little walk test thingy. Yeah. That's Slayer. Slayer Penguin. Okay, so all I have to do is tap left or right, and he walks. I'm pretty proud of it. Nobody seems to care, but, you know. It's a walking penguin, and there's plenty you can do with it. Well, not with the app itself, I mean, with the idea. So, that's the tutorial on how to get an app from Flash CS5. Any questions or comments, obviously comment it or message me. Please subscribe if this helped and all that other shiznazzle. Thanks for watching.